Hey all again, I'm still over at Lizzie's house, and we just watched the third and fourth episodes of Gargoyles Awakening Parts 3 and 4, and uh, we were going to stop after the third one, but Lizzie <laughs> wanted to see... I got up money! Lizzie wanted to see the third episode, the fourth episode, right after the third episode, so it is that. Okay, so the third episode is very much, uh, they meet, uh, the one, they meet... Elisa in the third episode, right? You all, I think you're like at the end of the second one. Yeah, okay. So yeah, they meet Elisa Maza at the end of the second episode or whatever, and, you know, uh, the third and the third episode, it's pretty much her and Goliath, but it's really more of an Elisa episode. It really establishes how devoted she is to the Argoyles. Our cutest factor, our, our viewers should probably swing <laughs> through the roof, because it's instant cuteness, just add bunny. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so in the third episode, Elisa and Goliath are like touring the city, or it's either at the end of it's, it's either it's like the end of the second one or the third one. No, the third one. Shit, now I'm confused with it. Okay, the second one at the end of the second one, she comes into it. Okay. And at the, the beginning of the third one, they meet. Okay, yeah, okay. So, they meet her at the beginning of the third one, and then, uh, I think it's in the fourth one, then, yeah, it's in the fourth one, okay, the fourth one is, is, is or at least that was done, okay, I get it now, okay, sorry, I, I, get, I get kind of confused when we do episodes like this, because it's all, it all kind of, like, runs together, you know? Yeah. Uh, big track. I don't want to get my ass in the camera. Uh. My ass is barely in the camera last one. Do not point that laser thing in my eye. You know what? your eyes. You know what they say, right? Like it's on the label on the thing. Do not point in eye. But on that, it's on your neck. I can see it on the camera. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Okay. Stop that. Uh. So anyway, the third episode, it's like a Goliath, Lisa type episode or whatever. So shippers gonna ship automatically. Start of the episode. Uh, yeah, it and it's like, it's, uh, Goliath saw, like, we need to know more about the city and the dangers that are in it, so he, uh, decides to fly with Elisa through the city and, you know, learn more about it. The trio, Brooklyn, Broadway, and Lexington, look through the city, is, is the third episode is very, it's a very lighthearted episode for the most part. There, it's not, like, a dark brooding episode like the first two were. Mm -hmm. It's a bit more. It's more lighthearted, uh, and I, I, do, I do like that. Uh, but there is there's a, but there's a seriousness to it. Where do you go? And then uh, it's also in the third episode that oh, where are you going? Uh, at okay. the end of the third episode, while uh, Elisa and uh, Goliath, too many names, sorry. Uh, and Goliath are with each other. They get uh, stopped by the by the thugs that attacked uh, Zanatos' castle. And so they, like, tranquilize him, but it doesn't, it doesn't knock him out. He's going with the castle. Uh, no, buddy, no! <laughs> uh, and so... She lost the rabbit. Uh, Why must you kick me? You were right there. Oh, sorry. Then I do this. I took your shoe. And I hit you with it. <laughs> so <sorry. sighs> I made a big mistake during this vlog with you, Lizzie. Yes, you did. Shut up. Uh, yeah, so third episode, uh, the guys come and, uh, you know, the sun's coming up, whatever, and there's a very funny shot in the episode while Hudson is channel surfing. There's a shot of the Lion King, and it's just hilarious. Like, isn't it, like, putting its own, like, little, like, shit inside of its own <laughs> shit? Uh, bonkers, a lot of that, where it was, like, the Mad Hatter and the March Hare and a lot of that bullshit, but this series, 
it's not a very it's not a very Disney series. So they have to put a lot more Disney shit into it, to kind of be all like, oh yeah, you know, we are still Disney and you know, still something that we own. So we have to put all of our shit into it. Uh, yeah, so Hudson's wa- watched this Viking at some point, but at the end of the episode, uh, when Goliath, Goliath and Lisa are like kind of quartered, the sun starts rising, and this is where Lisa figures out that the gargoyles turn to stone during the day. Uh, the next episode is probably one of the best episodes ever, as it establishes, well, it's not, it's not like the best episode, but it's a very good episode, as it establishes that how devoted Lisa is to the gargoyles, and I said that earlier for the third episode, but I meant about this one. Uh, because she fights off these guys, all of them, by herself, in the park, and then she comes back to stay with Goliath. And it shows that she really does care about them and wants to help them. And that she's not just going to, like, lead them to drop the hat. Uh, she just fight off all of four guys yeah, by herself? Like I said, she fights off all five of these guys by herself. Uh... She also hits them with her gun, which she doesn't do very often. Uh, another thing, another thing with this episode, though, is that it is the reappearance of Demona, Goliath's gargoyle girlfriend, into the series, and Bish be plotting something. Peter, you can see it in her eyes. Bish be plotting look something. Her face. Yeah. Just, no, you just no. Bish be plotting. Just doing something. Bish be plotting. Yeah. Okay, I'll just see yeah. You. But the love between her and Goliath is a very strong point in the series. Like, here in the first episode, it's a very, you can, like, see just how much they care about each other and for each other. And that's reaffirmed here in this episode, where he's all, like, like where they, they just embrace each other. and it's, Like, even though Bitch is plotting something, you know, it's obvious that they still care about each other. She still cares about him. Yeah. You know, more than anything, uh... It does, though, kind of... Demona's character is all, is introduced, though, with still having prejudice for humans. And let me just say that her story does not entirely check out. Like, Lizzie and I were, po- were poking holes <laughs> in these episodes, and one of them was the biggest one, because she's all like, I found the Magus, and, I, you know, I left the castle to look for you or whatever. I got trapped by the sun, and then... I came out of the castle, and the Magus already cast a spell, so I asked him to cast on me again. And Vanitos is like, I got her, like, a private collection, so it made sense that, like, if you guys woke up, that she'd wake up too. And I'm all like, well, if the castle rose above the clouds, wouldn't she just wake up anyway? Yeah, instead of, like... And, like instead, of him, have, like instead of him having to bring her... Are you even fucking for you, Pebbles? No. Sorry. And so, yeah, yeah, instead of him having to break through the castle, would she just wake up by herself? Yeah. Since the first conditions have been met. Uh, didn't say anything about them having to be at the castle yeah. when it rose above above the clouds. Yeah. Just that the castle had to rise above the clouds. Yeah. Uh, the third episode is also another fish out of water episode with the the trio exploring the city and everything. There's oh. a funny part where with uh Broadway where Brooklyn tries tries to hail a taxi and the taxi <laughs> like takes one look at him and it's all like. Nope, and it just like swerves. But, but if it was truly a, ta- a New Yorker taxi guy, he would just be like, "Okay, these guys are in amazing costumes." And, like they would pulled over and be like, "Hey, it's like so, you come from like a some Halloween thing or whatever, or, or like some costume party or or something like that." Yeah. Shut. Up. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Things I liked about these episodes. The, I like the lightheartedness of the episode. Yeah. It's it's lighthearted without being, like, Disney lighthearted, which, like, okay, Disney Disney television series lighthearted, where it's all, like, oh, you know, jokes and, like, lots of comedy. It's just kind of... People tripping over themselves. Yeah, it's light. It's not, like, obnoxiously comedic, but it's, 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 a, it's a peaceful episode. Uh, well, uh, until... After, after the last three, like, non-stop. After, after, after the last two episodes where it was, like, super mm-hmm. dark and everything. Uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a breath of fresh air, really. Uh, I mean, the, the fourth one kind of goes right back into that. Yeah. And let me say, the fourth episode with, when, it's, like, Elisa running from these guys, it's like a fucking action movie. It is non-stop, constant action. And one of the things I really like about the animation of the series is the hair animation really weird. 
but like every time oh, like you're weird. huh you're weird shut up it's, it's just it's just something i know is because a lot of disney shows don't really do that with like hair a lot where it, it just kind of like stays like as it is all the time but here in gargoyles it's always constantly flipping and moving and da 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 and it's just it's just like it's just nice that someone like took the time and really like spent the time to animate this really really well uh what else is there? I'm not having much to say about it since we're just kind of blurring the two episodes together. And therefore, I kind of lose a bit. So I won't be doing that again. Uh, uh, let's see. I like. What did you like about these two episodes, Lizzie? Well, I was reading something. <laughs> what did you like? What did you like about the two episodes? Well, I pretty much like the same thing. I hardened it to of it and just. Sort of showing, okay, yeah, these gargoyles are really out of their element here mm-hmm. and everything. And they yeah. actually showed, I mean, fucking hell. Like, Lexington glides down to observe, observe the motorcycle and cause the guys to crash, and then he tries to ride it and yeah. cause it to blow up. And yeah. Stuff. Shit blowing up. <laughs> and then trying to hail a cab and, like, okay, what do we, what the hell do we do here? Yeah. Um, and also, these, these episodes, I, I think. What happened when, like, during the creation process and just, like, the filming of these episodes is that the creator said, you want to establish these personalities very quickly so that you know who they are and you know what, like, the character stereotype is supposed to be, but they're, n- but they're not just going to stay those character stereotypes the whole time. I mean, like, you know, like, you have Goliath, who's, like, the brooding leader. You have Hudson, who's, like, the old mentor. You have Broadway, Lexington, yeah. and... Brooklyn for, like, the younger one, you know, and you have the fat one, the smart one, and, you know, kind of the dim-witted leader. Uh, and then you have Bronx as well. And then there's Demona, who is the the, the sneaky, bitchy, plotting lover. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know what else to describe her as, but Demona is obviously still carrying a grudge against humanity. And this will be a big part of her character. I mean, like, does she hold a grudge against all humanity for what they did to her, her kin? Yeah. And everything, or it is, or is there something else? Did, yeah. did they betray her in another way, or something like that? If you want to have a grudge against anyone, have a grudge against the mate. Oh yeah. You know. I mean, he was the one that turned them to stone in the first place. Exactly. Thousand fucking years. I would blame the Vegas. I'd be all like, you douche, undo it, write it a spell. Uh. Yeah, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of things that really stood out in these episodes because I'm only at the 13 minute mark. And I, the last one was like 20 minutes. Like no, the last one was like 30 minutes. Mm. But I want to find a way to kind of stretch this out a little bit longer. Uh, and this is why I said I'm not doing like a two episode thing again, where it's like I just watched. Well, there, there wasn't really much that pulled the episode even together. I guess pointed out. I guess you can say that. Um, I mean, they just they were just. Putting it and like, okay, well, here's some little more things I'm trying to figure out mm-hmm. the yeah. world they're in and everything, and learning that things aren't always what it appears yeah. and stuff. I mean, like, this big old city, it's like, oh, you must have a lot of trouble. Like, even Goliath, he's like, oh, don't you have trouble with the, with the mayor? Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like I, don't, I don't see a wall around the city. And so she's just like, well, we have, like, it's like, we don't have really have somebody, well, at the time, we didn't have threats from outside our borders and everything. Yeah. But, but you know. Uh, so we didn't need walls. Now, that might actually be a good idea. Although, a, a dome might be a good idea. Don't do that. That's a TV show. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, I already thought. Uh, oh, 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 I won't talk about that. Uh, really good. Yeah, so that's, that's another thing. Like, you know, the Argos are, 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 you know, very stuck in their ways, very old, you know, because obviously, you know, they've lost, a, they've lost a thousand years to this whole thing. And so they're. I mean, like one minute they're they're going to sleep in in uh, Scotland, Scotland, medieval, and yeah. then also they're waking up in modern New York. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I I, I do like the fish out of water aspect of the series, uh, because it's not just played for like constant laughs. It's played. Uh, it's played very. It's played seriously and uh, comedically at the same time. Uh, the whole naming thing was pulled off really well, where Hudson 
it kind of illustrated like the differences between gargoyles and humans that thought like why do humans have to name everything like we just kind of take everything as it is for what it is we don't see the name we don't see the need to like name everything yeah. you know uh but you know uh eventually they do take names after New York, like, landmarks and, like, cities and shit like that. No, I mean the Hudson Broadway. Throw my remote! Sorry. Throw my remote! The Hudson, uh... Broadway, Broadway Lexington, Lexington, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bronx. Bronx. Uh... Well, the fact that Goliath is the only one with an H name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't see too much of Xanatos in these two episodes, but he is still a very present force in the episode. I mean, just look at him. Yeah. I think the defining factor of these two episodes, though, is Goliath's relationship with Elisa. And, like, not in a, like, fan y shipping, love interest way, but, just, like, but just as a bond of trust between the two of them. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's really, it's done really, really well. It's like, okay, and you seem to be okay, you seem yeah. to be like, okay, you really want to help us and everything, and then it's like, oh, you spent all day protecting me, staying awake and protecting me. Even though you were up all night with me at the same time. Yeah. And re- realizing, well, okay, maybe... Oh, yeah. But it's like, it's like, okay, well, maybe there are some humans in this world we can truly t- trust. Yeah, because one of the things, one of the defining things about Goliath was that he said that he was never going to trust humans ever again. Xanatos was already kind of on the fence. You know, yeah, he broke the he broke the spell. And I, was, I, keep calling it a, I keep calling it a curse, and I'm sorry for it, but the way the spell operates to me it just seems more like a curse it, it does seem more like a than curse just like a magic spell yeah. like because with the magic spell there is a back door even if yeah the page was destroyed yeah it would still have been a back door he sh- the magus should have just been smart enough to write a new spell there's no law in gargoyle saying that you can't write new spells uh but yeah so i i apologize you know that there are fans out there who are like that crazy about the show watching this and they keep getting agitated at me that I call it a curse and not a spell. It's because that it just, it doesn't seem like just, you know, a magic, like, you know, a levitation spell or, or I, I don't, whoever is Harry Potter, it's not like, uh, like the levitation charm or like, uh, the disarming spell that are constantly used. It's more like, uh, it, it's more like a, a fucking curse. Like, you know, this happens and this will be broken under these effects. But, you know, different media use magic in different ways, so I'm not really going... I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying that it seems like a curse to me, and I'm sorry I've stuck on that for so long. Uh, but what else is there? Um, um, I think that's about it. Uh, it will be interesting to see, well, those who've seen the show already know what happens, but as some, but taking the perspective of someone who has not seen the show before, it will be interesting to see how the Goliath relationship with Elisa and Demona are now explored. I'm calling her by her, I'm calling them by their name, by her name now because I've seen the show, and... She's the only other. She's the only female gargoyle, so it's the only other. Gar- it's the only other person here that that is there that's named. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Not as much to say. Since, like like I said, I'm sorry. We kind of blurred the two episodes together, so there really wasn't as much for us to say. Uh, I might have had more to say on just the individual episodes by themselves if I did the way I should have done it, but I did. not so, you have know, my apologies for that if it doesn't seem as good as the last two, uh, if you actually even like them. So, uh, let me know what y'all thought in the comment section below, and I shall see y'all maybe later on again today, most likely tomorrow. No country there, boy. Shut up. All right. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Okay.